we're back. You guys are in Baton Rouge for 13 seconds, like we talked about earlier. We have a short little window here to get you in and out. <laughs> but I'm excited because you guys got questions for your from your people, so that'll be really fun. We're going to unpack some things. We're not going to get too personal, but we'll dive in some things. We'll learn a little bit more about you. Uh, but you guys were traveling a little bit, or you were traveling more, right? Yeah. I guess you too, right? Hit the big city. Hit New York City. It was so much fun. First time? No, I've been there. I think this is like my third or fourth time. Okay. Um. But that place, wow. And it was nice because I got to like go into the city for two days, got to go to Brooklyn for a day, got to be stay in Long Island, and then also went through all the way through the Hamptons, all the mm -hmm. way to Montauk. Like we literally, we covered yeah, everything. You got it. <laughs> um, but I literally, I would fly, I went to Ichiran, got some ramen. She's shaking her head because she knew I was going to say this. Because we were literally just dry, whenever we're just driving to practice, she's like, oh, and I was like, what? She's like. I just really want some ramen. <laughs> yeah. So the, the food, the food chronicles were thriving in New York. And literally, so my friend Megan, she was like, we have to go to this place, Ichiran. I was like, okay, like I'm not, I'm not huge in ramen. I think mm -hmm. I've had it like one other time. Mm -hmm. And she was like, no, we're, we have to go. And she was like, we need to get there at 11 because there will be a line. We got there at 1120 and there was, there was a line, line that she we had to wait in. Like, yes, yeah, she was, she was like, God, darn. <laughs> but we had to wait like probably like 30, 40 minutes. Thankfully we did. It was it the was best good? ramen. I like, I literally keep telling her, I'm like, I want to fly to New York tomorrow to eat the ramen and then just fly back. Like it was that good. So yeah, Ichiran. That's my, I'm like, Taryn, we need to go to New York and you need to go to Ichiran. Are you a ramen fan? Is I that mean, why? like well, just... we've only had, well, I've only had ramen once and I was with her. I think we were, yeah, in, we Doha. were in Doha. Yeah. Right. And wow. it was really good, yeah. but I, no, I'm not like dreaming of it like right. she obviously is. Yeah, I think I was talking to someone else and they were like, I think you probably set yourself up for failure because now like all, all ramen, ramen is just going to be like <laughs> not good. Yeah. So yeah, set the bar too high. That's yeah. not good. Yeah, coming in hot, but I'm starving right now. The weather is really wet. I, all I've been honestly thinking about is ramen. So of course she brings that up too. So now oh, I'm be hungry. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, well, there you go. You but, could fly to New yeah, York. I, need, mean, to find, I, I need to find a good spot in Baton Rouge to go just settle this kind of craving and see if that helps. And have you just been to Virginia? Compare it. I have not. It's right there. Right there? It's so dangerous for me. Ooh. Yeah. When we opened up, I was there three to four times a week. It's, wow. Yeah, it was. Okay, so it's pretty good. I, yes, I think it's so good, yeah. Now, sometimes they're out of stuff, you know, and it's kind of annoying, but uh, but it's to me, it's really good. Yeah. All right. The entire well, time that she was in New York, I think I just got like food pictures, but we tried to just yeah, not wait, talk to I each like, other. And then she, so she flies out, she leaves Sioux Falls. I drop her off at the airport and she's like, okay, I'm not going to talk to you for a week. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and then she texts me <laughs> and then she calls me and then she FaceTimes me and then she's like, okay, now I'm done. And then she's like, I lied. Text me again. But then after that, we didn't really, it was like our longest amount of yeah. time without communication. And I was like, oh my gosh, our telepathy is going to be gone. We're not going to think the same. Literally the next morning I walked down, she's making breakfast. We are in the same outfit, oh the same exact. Sh I was like, you've <laughs> got there. to be kidding me. Yeah. And then it actually happened this morning too. When we went to the gym, we were wearing the same. Wow. Outfit. Does that, yeah. that doesn't, does it happen? It happens so much. Frequently. Wow. And so, we, like, we have a lot of clothes. Yeah. It's like, they're, and it's like the randomest thing. That is thing. random. Yeah. yeah. Or do you guys just like roll with it? Flop. Yeah. Do you guys oh, roll yeah. with it when you guys wear the same outfit? Yeah. I love that. Yep. Yeah. I feel like people are so used to also us matching. Like yeah, whenever right. we're playing in tournaments, we're always matching. So it's just like, oh, uh, yeah, they're on the same thing. That's like, their thing. Yeah. Normal. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how long was it that you guys didn't talk? Uh, like, like four hours? days. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Like I know. no communication. Whoa. Zero. I literally thought you were going to be like 13 hours like or something. No, like that, that I'm telling you, that has been the longest amount of time. Like four So I said I wasn't going to text her because whenever she's at home, she just like goes off the radar yeah. and like, I just don't have my phone. I, I literally yeah. lose my phone. Yeah. I'll be like all excited. And I'm like sending these things and you, there's like literally a picture. Cause I took a screenshot of me <laughs> sending her a message. It was like over the span of like probably like two days, but it was like five different messages all at like different times. No response. <laughs> Didn't get any response Nothing. for any of them. So I was like, you know what? I'm just not going to text her anything so that's where it came from of like sorry i was really I'm just not busy. saying anything you had to I disconnect had a, yeah i Family. do i really do and i gotta go to my both of my sisters had volleyball games i gotta see all my family it was it's honestly just like random things pop up and it's like hey you want to do a lunch here you want to go grab coffee here and it's like 
a very, very plain schedule of like, I don't have anything going on. And then somehow I get to 8 PM and I'm like, Oh my gosh, where did the entire day go? I will but. say on, the, so on the last episode we did, she talked about going hot tubbing in the snow. She it's, loved it. It's we got snowed. the review. It snowed. We got to go hot tubbing in snow and it was actually really cool. Let's and go. it was gorgeous. Like this, snow, it literally started. We were just sitting there drinking coffee in the morning. My favorite thing. What, everybody, drinking coffee in the everybody morning? Everybody gets their coffee or their tea or whatever they want in the morning. And we sit in the living room and there's no TV. And it's just, you get to just sit there and talk. I love it. It's, but is that like, that's a family tradition that you guys do? Or it's just uh, like something no, you guys well, do? Well, whenever I'm home, I like make sure that yes. that's, that's cool. Yeah. what happens. I like it. But in true Louisiana fashion, I like looked outside and you could just see like two little snowflakes coming down. I was like, oh, guys, it's snowing. And I immediately just went outside and Sprinting. was just like, oh my gosh. And then later on that evening, we got to just hot tub in the snow. And she also wanted to drive in the snow. There was like two snowflakes falling from the that sky. That is not and true. Like, okay, four. It, it was coming down s- sort of. <laughs> there was that not. face right okay. there. <laughs> yeah. You couldn't even look her in the face at all. Okay. She was like, I, one eye was going that way. <laughs> there was a video. We like took a video of me driving. And of course, for the video, when you like show the video, it doesn't look like there's much. But then all of a sudden, right after we finished videoing, it started to come down a decent amount. Kristen. No, it did. It's perspective, okay? <laughs> she's like I said, she doesn't know what it's like to be snowed in for three days. Like, okay, so yeah. was there snow on the ground when you were actually driving? Yes. Did it how, did it melt in 0.5 seconds? It was a dusting. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we call but those was, dustings. Yeah. There was snow. anyway. Right, she after dri- a couple hours, there was like everywhere was white. She did drive in the snow, okay. so she got a hot tub in the snow, yeah. drive in the snow, and then catch snowflakes in her mouth. There which we go. She did. also thought was so much fun. Yeah, checks and boxes. Yeah. All, that's it. That's yeah. awesome. Snow. So we so we like snow. Yeah, we okay. like snow. I give it a thumbs up for like half. That's second. what I'm saying. I did every. It was really funny. The first day I got there, I, I, we like went inside and I walked outside and I immediately I was like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot. It's so cold. <laughs> like, I literally like forgot. Yes, you're like I have Just, to put like, a jacket on. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. We actually layer that on. was actually that was hilarious <laughs> but that happened like that happened a lot i'm like just totally forgot i'm like god it really does just hit you and it just immediately just makes me like curse i just oh like gosh. start cursing at the weather i'm like why does it make me do that <laughs> and then my dad picked us up in the limo because he, he was out Wait, at a party picked you up in a limo he was yeah, at a party from the, from the, from the airport, airport from the airport oh, that's unbelievable with I, a with a hat i was just gonna with say a ask, sign yeah 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 I was like, you did you guys post m- something about that? Or yeah, yeah I thought I saw that. Yeah. You're the most extra human He's being. But he was so excited. He was like, Taryn, I think I bought a limo. And I was like, what are you talking about? He goes, no, like, I think I bought the limo. And I was like, what are you talking about? And he's like, well, I was at a party and I was kind of like messing with the guy. I mean, like, hey, I'll buy it for this. And he was like, OK, deal. And the next morning he went and picked up the limo. And so now you guys have a limo. Yeah, as a fan. <laughs> it was actually really nice. It was the best way to get picked up from the airport. Oh my gosh, so was, much yeah. room. I was literally laying down. Kristen was laying down. He was playing music. Um, that sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like he I took us to idea. lunch. Yeah. yeah, it was nice. That's awesome. So he's just driving around in a limo, yeah. being a limo driver. I would definitely say when I go back home, I'm I'm very spoiled because I I never get to go back yeah. home. So and, um, my parents are just like, let's do and, whatever. And something tells me you lean into that a little bit. You're like, guys, I'm only here for this. You guys got to come down and drink coffee with me in the morning. Yeah, you have to. I do. Yeah, I, I do. Like I ha- I you ha- need I to. <laughs> That's what I do when I go home too. I'm like, Ma, I need this food. I need this. Like, I'm like, I'm not home very often. Like, I need this. Yeah, just yeah. Give, it, give it to me. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. But anyway. I like it. Good times. Yeah. It was good. I, think, good I think what we're doing, this is only episode seven, but at some point... The people that we keep bringing up that are p- fan favorites, I think, are going to end up on the couch or in the, in an episode somewhere. So I think you're pops with a sombrero, and there's too many stories already people that would I'm. Love that. That's oh what I'm God. saying. Yes. Eventually, he's going to be a guest on here. Maybe we'll do like a live show one day or something like I don't know yeah. somewhere, and that would be awesome. I mean, there's room. There's room on there the couch. I don't know. We just. I know. Okay. He's probably, he's a big dude, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. That's a big body to mix in the middle. That's tough. Yeah. That's tough. Yeah, I, like I don't it. know. And we may get Drew. We'll, we'll convince Drew to We're definitely getting get Drew. on here. Yeah. That'll have to be a live one. We get some drinks somewhere, happy yeah. hour or something. Yeah. Cracking daiquiris from Mangos. There we go. Oh. I like it. Maybe. Some point. Maybe some <laughs> All right. We'll but uh, you guys had some questions that you guys put out to your uh, your followers, right? And you guys got a lot of good responses, right? All right, we got a whole list of them here. We might need to break this episode into two parts. Um, so hang with us. We're probably going to do about 15, 20 minutes of these uh, questions. But um, since we're talking about family and being home, somebody asked, um, what would you tell your 15-year-old self? Ooh. 
Talk you about go first. Up and... You go first. Um, <laughs> I would say probably chill out. Like everything is so important in the moment or it's such a big deal when you're in the moment. But I think about things that happened 10 years ago and I honestly can't even remember the small details that I was probably like freaking out about or, oh my gosh, if I do this, this is going to happen. It's going to ruin my life. No, it's all going to work out. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just probably calm down, chill out. Love it. Uh, chill. everything's going to work out. Yeah. But not to say that it's not stressful making no. decisions. Makes sense. Mm. To my 15 year old self, I'd probably be like, stop being so darn shy and like, <laughs> yeah, get out and that. like be uncomfortable in basically social situations, but like, just go do it. And that, I uh, yeah, I was such a shy kid and I, f- I feel like I have like so many regrets and being like, oh, like. You didn't go do that because you were just so shy. So, but you've yeah. blossomed and now yeah. you're just chatty Kathy. I wouldn't say I'm chatty Kathy, but <laughs> <laughs> definitely better than my 15 year old self. <laughs> well, when did I first? I, you were in college, right? You were yeah. probably sophomore, junior, something like that. The first time I met you, you did she talk to you? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Talking was be, would be generous. I'd be yeah. like, but luckily, my friend Bo Didier is the biggest goofball that you'll ever meet in your whole life. So he would come out to mangoes. I was so embarrassed of it. Like, I was embarrassed. I'm like, Bo, shut up, dude. Like, he'd be screaming for her. He'd be like, she's the best player ever. So, like, I don't know. I think that helped, like, break the ice where I'm oh, like, hey, yeah. sorry, I'm Anthony. Like, uh, that's my friend Bo that always says that. He wants yeah. a picture with you. So, like, it was just fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She was definitely a little bit more shy back then. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, for sure. Freshman to sophomore year of college, it was, it was like, what are you doing, Kristen? <laughs> like, come on. But, that's good. Yeah. That's, but that's life. You got to yeah, grow. Yeah. You got to learn. Yeah, that's you good. figure it out. Yeah, absolutely. I like it. Um, all right. So I think th- this question probably means this day, but I want to kind of tie it back to a little bit of kind of what we're talking about growing up, talk about 15 year old self, talk about going home. Um, is there a disadvantage to not growing up in California or not training in California right now as a professional? I think, I mean, the fact that I didn't start beach volleyball until I was 22 is probably a factor in being from South Dakota. But. <laughs> um, I think for, I mean, for us, I feel like it is just um, the level of, like, competition mm-hmm. of, like, who we play against, whereas, like, all the teams who are out there, like, every given day you can just wake up and be like, hey, you want to go to practice? And it's, like, an right. elite player Exa- exactly. who you're going to go get that's competition with. Yep. So as far as, like, us being here as opposed to California, I would say that's probably, like, number one as far as, like, on the cons list of us staying here. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, I mean, we are – still right now i think the number two team in the world so it's also yeah. like um it's as of right now it's working out well right. so um i mean we do spend for the last couple of years we spend a month or two out in california so yeah. it's really nice to like kind of get a little bit of a taste of that but then by the end i'm like okay i'm ready to go back to our training schedule because everything is built around what drew wants us to do we have our court we don't have to go and fight other people on the beach it's not a fight but like right. it's like oh man <laughs> it the comes court. down to it yeah it's like <laughs> oh the court that we wanted is taken we have to wait an hour or we have to move lines or set up antennas it's just like no our, our court is there and we know that we have that every single day and it's a specific time and that's really nice just like the stability of it here yeah yeah or if like say like something at practice or you like get a little injury or something it's not like you're in your own little like basically compound and no one else is there whereas if you're like on the beach everyone be like oh my goodness juicy like taryn like got hurt or like she wasn't practicing this day or that's a good point she did when we were out in california she landed weird like whacked her head on the sand got concussed and everybody in the gym literally that day was like oh my gosh and they were out, everybody was whispering about it. And I was like, I can literally hear you. Like, do you want to know if she is okay? Because you can go ask her if she right. is okay, because that is the biggest factor. Like, you shouldn't be worried about anything else other than is she okay? Right. Yeah. Injury, really, like, I don't care who it is. I just, I feel for people that get right. injured. Yeah. That's good. Have you guys, have you guys ever dealt with any major injuries in your guys' career? Like, throughout even college? I know you played indoor. It was uh, a little different. Yeah, I mean, like, a couple broken foot feet. Uh, well, really? I broke the same foot twice, but oh, wow. uh, sprained ankles. Just yeah, normal like jumping random. stuff. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I hurt my back really bad in high school. I was really? out for a while. But, I mean, nothing that is, like, 
earth shattering doesn't actually happen with overuse injuries. Yeah. Like yeah. I, you go to the doctor and you're like, yeah, I play every single day for years. And they're like, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Your body wants to stop. Right. <laughs> yeah. I think, I mean, since playing professionally, I think the only thing that like significant was when I, I like oh, broke, broke oh, my yeah, yeah. finger uh, in Paris last year. Um, but you should have seen that. she like couldn't put her hair up in a ponytail. So we're on the bus about we're driving to the game with the people that we're about to play and we're right. like we can't show anybody that right. she can't oh. move her finger and so i'm like doing her hair in the back room trying to hide it from everybody until we walk out she's all taped up and i mean you don't want to tell somebody like hey it right. hurts really bad every yeah. time a ball touches my hand so probably don't give me the ball you know it's, no 100 percent. Yeah. i'd never even yeah. thought about that perspective that's why i like these questions right there never even thought about that <laughs> yeah but. yeah no that was what because i literally had for the rest of the tournament i had just like this huge tape because it was literally like on this finger right mm -hmm. here yeah. and it's like every single ball you hit like it was just like gosh Boom. darn that hurts <laughs> but literally a huge wrapping and like people would still like i mean dumb of me that i put my hand out to like shake hands but like the captain's meter or something people would just like freaking grab it and i'm like do you not see that like <laughs> it is like severely taped up like i'm like we don't need to go like firm handshake or anything right. yeah. didn't think but, i had to say this but yeah <laughs> but yeah that's i mean other than that i'm gonna that's knock good. on yeah i was gonna say we're gonna yeah. knock on wood or something yep. um yeah no like significant uh things good. um all right you're wearing your lsu shirt favorite lsu memory oh, um, oh I, I know mine you only had one year here. We right? may have, I know, we may well, have the well, same Well, technically memory. it was uh, two and a half seasons. Got you. So I was supposed to be in Louisiana for 18 months, and here I am yeah. four years later. You love it. <laughs> she same can't thing leave. for me. I was going to be here for three leave. years. Yeah, I was yeah. going to be here for three years, and then on with my life. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. 17 you, years just, later. It, it sucks you in. Mm -hmm. Once people come to Louisiana, they're just like, this place is magical. Yeah. We have to stay. <laughs> um, my favorite <laughs> memory was UCLA. She's like, anyway, yeah, back yeah, to the question. Sorry. It is. It's great. UCLA uh, LSU UCLA LSU at Ooh. home we were it was the one versus the two seed absolutely packed like to get into LSU stadium it's it's yeah, gated yeah. um people were in the parking lot it was wrapped around to just try and get in to watch the grass was filled people were just like lining the courts there were so many people I think it set the record I love um it. yeah that's that. cool yeah that play that was absolutely insane oh like, my god it was wild did I, they have any uh like big name players that are playing now that people would recognize at ucla Sa savvy simo was oh, on the yeah. team nice. i remember yeah, yeah. did you <laughs> play her uh yeah i think so and it was actually it was so funny because right before our game so it go college works there's like the four fives and sixes play mm -hmm. and then the ones twos and threes play so as the four fives and sixes were playing we were warming up and savvy was like is this like what y'all's home games always look like? <laughs> you should have been like, yes, you should come here. Yes. And I was like, Savvy, no, not at all. But this is like awesome. She yeah. was like, this is unreal. Like yeah. the place was rocking. Oh my it was gosh. just like, it was right before thing. COVID. Oh, wow. So, so there was no crazy COVID right, things. Right, right, and right. then literally the next weekend, we had just become like the number one team in the, uh, in the country. country. And then we go and then the world shuts down. Oof. So you guys did beat UCLA? We did, we did. Mm. I mean, that's why if we would have lost, it would have been like, oh, yeah, that no, was a good was, memory. You didn't say like, anything oh. about winning. I just wanted to make sure. But yeah. Sorry. No, it's okay. Um, I guess yeah. like the entire atmosphere, but yeah, winning was yeah. definitely I would imagine, a cherry yeah, on yeah, top. Yeah. It made sense. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. 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 It, What's yours? Is that what it's that. that, yeah. that I mean, oh, that's I feel awesome. like if yeah. you... It was that... Damn, now I got phone I'm like, how did I miss this? It was so cool. You probably couldn't get in. Probably, yeah, exactly. We literally... I mean, as we were like trying to warm up for the game, like they're playing. So people are like cheering. It's well, we're the entire, I'm telling you the entire warmups where we're just like looking at the stands, like this is wild. That's awesome. I guess it was extra fun. Cause I played in the, I played fours, So I played the first round. So the second round it was split. I think we won and the fives lost. Yeah. So four, yeah, it was like won, a split. So then it was like, Oh my gosh, who's going to win these two games? Oh my God. Cause then yeah. they win. And then it came down to the two. I think it did. Yeah. And it was everybody was at one court and it was just, oh my gosh. I love that. It was, yeah. everybody's like down in front, down in front to me because I was screaming and jumping up and down. Oh my gosh. That was so fun. Love yeah. it. Yeah. Um, if we could be, if that could be like a regular of just like all beach volleyball events, that, that would, would be awesome. Incredible. Nice. Electric. It was amazing. Electric. Yeah. Did I read this right? Uh, I hope so because we were working on your sports cards, but you went 50 and 0 in college. 
did. Yes. Is that good? She I, did. I think so, right? She did do that. Two seasons. Strong. Didn't lose. Two seasons. That's wild. That is. That's strong to quite strong. Well done. So Thank I just, yeah, I, 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 I'm serious. I hate like, losing. Uh, me so too. Much. Yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> I and you were just like, I'm not going to do it. You know, while I'm in school, I hate it so much. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I would imagine a lot of them were in two sets too, especially in your, in the um, first season. Oh yeah. I played with Kelly Agnew. Oh wow. They played at, they played at the fours, but they weren't like. So much fun. Yeah. They weren't just winning. They were like. Dominating. Destroying. Yeah anyone they played it that's was cool. it was fun to watch yeah sorry that's i didn't mean fun. to put you on the spot there that's okay show you a little love but um all right so while we're talking about college uh somebody asked how much volleyball did you play in college compared to now oh my we gosh. practiced so much more that's actually what Wait, I tell you practiced more in college oh my goodness so for much more. sure that's wow. what i tell any junior that i talk to and it's like what can you do in college i'd be like whatever you want to work on you do in college because you will practice way more. We literally, we had a structured three hour practice five days a week. And then sometimes I think there was one on the weekend. So it's like you had three hours every single day. We now practice like on a normal week. It's like maybe four to five days and it's like hour and a half to two hours, maybe. Right. It was like, like two and a half. What? <laughs> <laughs> but what do you think the reason for that is? Is it just like you guys are learning the sport? You guys are younger. I don't know. Like I'm. I don't yeah. Know. Well, I, th I think back and I'm like, how did that happen? But then I'm thinking there's so many more people. And when it's right. now, it's just. You too. Yeah. It's way more reps in a shorter amount exactly. of time. Um, so, I mean, we're still getting a ton of reps, but it was a lot of time. Yeah. Like there were definitely days where I would walk out there and be like, I don't know if I can leave the sand. <laughs> but it's also a lot is like in college is like up to you basically so we had i think we got to at one point we had like 30 people and mm -hmm. there's only three coaches so it's like a lot of it has to be on you to right. like okay if i'm working like me it was like hand setting it was like i'm gonna hand set every single ball but you have to like put it upon yourself to do it because it's not like every single rep the coach is going to be like yo why didn't you hand set that or like you need to do this whereas like nowadays like drew will be like what are you doing like every yeah. single time because he is watching every single play yep yeah. But yeah, we practiced so much more in college. Yeah. Wow. wow. So much more. That's and the competitions, it was just like more of a season. This is like year round almost, but it's also Olympic qualification and playing AVP plus FIVB. So that's just kind of. Yeah. Yeah. We're also old and our bodies hurt sometimes. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to say too. Just more like body management, right? As you get older, it's like, hey, we got to be smart. Let's work smart, not hard. You know, like. That's right? for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Peace. And that's what, when I was playing ball, everybody was always like, the phrase was like, know your body. And as you get older, you'll know your body, you know what you need, you know? And it's like, as I get older, I'm like, oh, I definitely know what that means now. Like mm -hmm. when I was a kid, I was like, what the hell does that mean? When I said, know my body. Of course I know my body. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, it means like, no, you don't have to be out there for four hours every day. We know? train. It, it will just deteriorate. Yeah. It's exactly. bad. So we we train with Anna and Ava Cole who are like they're fourteen and sixteen and I'm oh like gosh. they're doing like the same stuff we are yet we'll like finish and they just keep going and I'm like how are they still going and you're like, just like youth yeah <laughs> like, sixteen yeah. yeah endless energy. nothing yeah nothing hurts they're yeah. just running around in circles I'm like Ugh. they haven't oh. even been introduced <laughs> to caffeine yet or anything or any yeah, any yeah. of that kind of stuff I'm like I need a coffee just to get out of bed like yeah. <laughs> exactly what? I need to stretch to go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's good. Actually, a nice little stretching routine before bed. Yeah. Literally, that's a thing. Yeah, yeah that's good. Um, uh, all right, I like this one. We'll we'll ask like one or more, one or two more questions in this one, and then we'll go to the uh, part two where it'll be all questions. But I like this one like uh, right now. How do you refocus on the court when you're losing? Oh. Speaking of losing that we don't enjoy, how do you refocus? That is something that we have. Uh, I feel like gotten better at. It's still a work in progress. Everything is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, think, I think that's life as you get older you just realize that's what life is yeah. everything's a work like do i suck at everything oh my god <laughs> it you just figure knows. stuff out on the fly yeah. yeah i feel like that has been something like we really have been working on this year especially because we've had a lot of times where like the first set is just terrible and we can like mm -hmm. get out of it in the second set and then we're like a new team but it's like how can we like in that game change that mm -hmm. and honestly we're still like figuring that out but i think it's just like knowing what to say to each other or mm -hmm. we got the like wristbands where it's like because she wears a wristband that says like confidence and i'll wear one that says trust so instead of like trying to like say something to her it's just like hey read that wrist read your wristband yeah and that kind of has helped us a lot yeah. but i think back to we were 
in California training in January this year. And we had a practice where it was just like spiraling out of control. Uh, we were just scrimmaging another team and it was at practice and it was just like, we're losing, we're losing, we're losing. And it was just like going down so bad. And then we had a conversation after practice and those conversations suck to have, but as soon as you can be open with your partner and we obviously can talk about pretty much everything we <laughs> do. Um, then it's like, Hey, like that's not acceptable. And that just, it really can't. And Kristen was like, that's, that can't happen again. And so whenever something is spiraling, we're like, Hey, we bring it back to that exact team that we were playing at that moment. And that feeling of just like after practice being like, we kind of gave up on ourselves and that sucked. And I hated that feeling. So whenever that is the reminder, I think it helps, which br brings me back to the bronze medal match in world champs. And that was starting to happen to us. And it was 18, 17. And I was like, uh, uh, no, no, I think we were yeah. actually, we were down 18, 16. Don't care. Yeah. I don't care. We're not losing. Yeah. And I think it was like both of us just like hit turbo speed and we're like, we're giving it everything that we have. And it was two weeks of being in Mexico after mm -hmm. being in Paris. And it was just like, oh my gosh, our bodies are so dead. But you know what? You have five more points. Right. And yeah, I think that really helped us. Like yeah. as much as that practice sucked, us talking about it sucked, but it helped at world champs. But yeah, like, yeah, like we were saying, we've been working on that and literally at like probably the biggest moment in our career thus far, we like at a key point at 18, 16, it was like, we flipped it around. And literally it was after that game that drew like, <laughs> that's just on Instagram. And he was like, you guys picked a good time to like start playing like yourselves. <laughs> I love that. Freaking eighteen, sixteen. Who cares? On Instagram. <laughs> Better than never. <laughs> yeah, we could because we. Um, I know when oh, you're on the road. That's yeah. the way. Yeah. Well, he has he has a he doesn't have an iPhone, right. so it couldn't. Yeah. Technology. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. wherever there's Wi-Fi. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That gave yeah. me like crazy chills. I'm gonna be honest with you because like I'm just sitting here and you know how I visualize you guys and I think I think to hopefully the future, you know, where you guys are playing on the biggest stage and stuff like that. Um, and just hearing you talking about that stuff is like, gave me chills. Like, I'm like, oh, that's awesome. That was a great, that, those were great answers, seriously. Um, he hypes us up so much. I know. This is about really hanging out with Anthony. I'm upset. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you feeling bad about yourself? You're like, I'm going to go hang out. You guys are just going to tell you, just text me. We'll have a code word I'm and I'll be like, I got day. you guys. Yeah. I'll, gas, I'll gas you guys up. Let's go. What do you need? Um, all right, we'll go to some. That was me being a little heavy right there. Sorry. Um, we'll go to something light before we cut. Um, favorite Disney movie? Oh. Are you guys Disney people? Like, I feel like that look was, oh, okay, okay. There was just too many things running through yeah, the mind Yeah, I know. Right I'm there. like, oh, I have to pick one? Okay. Uh, my, I was always, like, The Lion King. Is that even a Disney movie? Yes. That The Lion King was, like, my, what? like, childhood one. Our I mean, telepathy is just, like. That's what, what you were going to say, too? I was, Lion King was on mine. Um, Tangled was on mine. And... I do love Tarzan. I think it's a good movie. I love but, it. Man, Lion King. That was like my childhood. I think that was like one of the only movies. I mean, I grew up with brothers, so like we were rarely watching like the Disney like princess movies. I watched all of them. <laughs> yeah. I was um, wondering, yeah, what that was gonna, what, but, how the answers were gonna look. But Lion King, man, yeah, that's a good. I one. mean, you could pretty much pick any of them. Me and we play. We used to play like Disney Seen It. I don't know if you guys have ever played that game where it's like, it's literally like a clip from a random Disney uh, yeah, movie yeah, yeah. and it'd be like, name this character. What happens in this? And I like, I would crush that game. <laughs> I love Disney movies. I, yeah. Were you like mm -hmm. Disney movies on the Disney channel too? Like you're like the ones oh, yeah. that are luck of the Irish, you know, it's like, oh. I love that one. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. <laughs> that is a good one. Yeah. Man. Um, yeah. Honestly, those cl now I'm like, what it, what movies is Disney making that like kids are watching? Because I really do. They had some like solid I know, ones. Bangers, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but just like don't go back and watch because I did, and I was like, oh, they really were, bad. They, they were not <laughs> good. Really bad. I still like The Lion King. I'm gonna be honest okay, with you. Okay, no, like, Lion, Lion King, King but I'm talking about like Luck of the Irish. Like, oh yeah, that's a bad movie. Just don't, don't, bad don't movie. go back and watch yeah. it because you'll just enjoy it so much more in your memory of like what you thought about it. Uh, Air yeah, like, remember like, Air, they, they went too far though. There was like. 13 of them. Yeah, like, Airbud like, 45, yeah. and you're just like, there's he's only got, so like, many times he can jump he's and a hit a grand, ball. Yeah, he's a grandpa <laughs> now. He, they had, like, puppies and stuff. I'm like, no, too much. Yeah. Uh, too much. Did, did y'all ever freak out, though, when, like, didn't, like, The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody turn into a movie? They did, like, a movie? Sweet Life on Deck? Yeah. No. Well, that wasn't a movie. I thought they, like, made it into a movie. Not Maybe not. I don't know. I can quote movies pretty well, but I can't really quote Disney movies that well, I guess. Quoting uh, movies is a lost art nowadays. You know? So, Think. Well, Today's youth. Y'all are very good at it. I'm not. 
sometimes I just speak. I've spoken to people like, like, Hey, we have this kind con- and it's just, we just do movie mm-hmm. quotes. That's it. That's, but that doesn't happen as much anymore. I don't know why. Yeah, I agree. All right. That was a good one. All right. So yeah. we're going to take a quick break, um, but we'll have another uh, part two here coming up. So we're just going to do all yeah. questions for part two. Let's do it. I got a whole list here. We'll be back. We'll be back.